हेलो ऑल वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज सुशील योर दोस्त गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू स्कोर द मैक्सिम मार्क्स इन द कमिंग एग्जाम सो एज यू कैन सी दैट टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ डू बी स्कोर अबव एटी इन फर्स्ट पी यू फाइनल एग्जाम बट वो विच सब्जेक्ट सो द सब्जेक्ट इज नथिंग बट फिजिक्स सो यू मस्ट है लास्ट video where i had discussed how to score above 80 marks in physics in the second pu final exam and a uh, lot of students had commented they had texted me saying that it is really helpful and i'm sure even this video is going to help pu1 students to attempt their final exam which is starting in this month end so guys again listen to me very very important this video is only for the students who are happy to score who are happy to score only 80% of the marks okay so again if you want to score 80% in physics out of 100 then then you have to again concentrate on this lucky number that is seven chapters that is seven chapters so if you're happy to score in physics 80 marks out of 100 again you need to concentrate on this seven chapters but again i want all of you to score out of out i want all the students to score this beautiful three digits number that is 100 out of 100 and for this again you need to remember you have to concentrate on all the 15 chapters so there is no shortcut for success yeah so there is no shortcut so you have to study all the 15 chapters to score this 100 out of 100 but again if you are happy with what i said 80% or 80 marks out of 100 then you have to concentrate on this seven chapters again the formula remains same will help you to score 40 to 50 marks will help you to score 40 to 50 marks out of 70 plus 30 marks in the lab you must be scoring and if i'm not wrong most of the college has finished this 30 marks they have completed this 30 marks so i'm hoping that students will be scoring full 30 out of 30 in this lab exam so that's very important so once again you score 30 in lab and you score 40 in theory you score 70 and you score 50 in theory and 30 in lab so your score will be 80 yes so out of 100 i will help you to score 80% for sure now let's move on to those lucky seven chapters which we will be concentrating so the first chapter what we are going to concentrate is nothing but units and measurement the first chapter we are going to concentrate is nothing but units and measurement the second chapter what you are going to concentrate is nothing but motion in straight line the second chapter is nothing but you are going to concentrate is motion in a straight line the third chapter what you are going to concentrate is motion in a plane the fourth chapter what we need to concentrate in work power and energy or work energy and power the fifth chapter what we need to concentrate on laws of motion the sixth chapter what we need to concentrate is system of particles the last and the lucky chapter what you need to concentrate is or concentrate on is gravitation so these are the seven chapters what we need to concentrate so the first chapter is nothing but units and measurement the second chapter is motion in a straight line the third chapter is motion in a plane the fourth chapter what you need to concentrate is work energy and power then comes laws of motion then comes system of particles and rotational motion and the seven chapter is nothing but gravitation so these are the lucky seven chapters what need to concentrate to fetch those beautiful 80% in physics so again if you ask me the marks is divided in this way you may have from motion in straight line or motion in a plane one derivation and one numerical for five each marks so one derivation may come for five marks and one numerical may come for five marks so total these two chapters will fetch you again 10 marks that's important okay so these two chapters can fetch you 10 marks which is very very crucial for us next what we have is work energy and power and laws of motion again this is nothing but a group again from here we may have one derivation and one numerical which will fetch us 
10 marks and then i have system of particle and gravitation which may again be asked for one derivation and one numerical which will again fetch us 10 marks so if you see i have 10 here another 10 here and another 10 year so basically i'll be scoring around 30 marks which is a sure 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 questions which will help us to get this 30 marks very easily now if i you know if you see that the chapter units and measurement now units and measurement may sometimes play a crucial role they can sometimes ask one five mark question from even this chapter so they may ask a five mark question from this chapter and then one five marks can be avoided from this chapter maybe any any one of these chapters so units and measurement we cannot neglect that chapter we need to study something related to five marks from these from those chapters also so you cannot ignore that chapter so you can see that you have scored 10 marks here another 10 marks here 20 and another 10 marks here that will fetch you 30 okay so if i'm not wrong so 10 20 and 30 you are scoring 30 marks for sure okay 30 marks for sure and then you'll have few one mark two mark questions three marks questions which will help you out now but if you see this pattern if you have observed this pattern i have asked you to only concentrate i have asked you to only concentrate on part a chapters if you have observed the pattern what i've given you i've only asked you to concentrate part a chapters and in part a you're surely going to score 30 marks for sure 30 marks plus for sure at at any cost you are going to score that now what you have to do is you have to be smart enough see if you have studied only part a you're going to cover all the varieties of numericals so there is no worry for the numericals you need to concentrate from part b now what you need to do is to be on the safer side from part b you have to again concentrate on four chapters that is thermal properties thermodynamics then you have to concentrate on waves and oscillation these are the four chapters what you need to concentrate only for five marks please remember i'm only asking you to study only the five marks questions from all these four chapters why because why because this part b will help you to fetch another another 10 marks for sure another 10 marks for sure so you will be again scoring you will be again scoring 40 plus 40 plus from both part a and part b at any cost please remember students you will be going to score above 40 plus at any condition from from the entire part a and part b by only concentrating on seven chapters seven chapters you have to be thorough enough at any cost you have to be thorough and remember if you are taking a chance if you are taking a chance only by studying seven chapters also you can score 40 plus but i want you to be on a safer side i want you all to be on safer side so that's why i'm asking you that from part b you just concentrate on five marks questions from only these four chapters only the five marks questions no need of studying any no need of studying any type of numerical from these chapters because you're going to cover all the numericals from part a so that doesn't make an any issue yeah i hope you're getting it i hope you're getting it so you will score you will score out of 170 plus very very easily students so do not worry do not panic just focus so part a you need to swallow everything you cannot skip anything you cannot take any chance all the varieties of numericals you need to cover up all the derivations you need to study okay so i hope i hope this video will help you to score 40 plus out of 70 plus 30 marks in the lab which is already there in your pocket i suppose so you will you will score the maximum in physics okay so do like the video do like the video share it with your friends so that it will help even others thank you so much and all the best for your coming exams do well and take care